Good morning, please excuse the very tired face and the bed hair. I have just got up, it is currently I think about half past nine, made myself my morning cup of tea and I'm about to get ready for the day. Today I thought I would vlog because it's going to be a sort of interesting day. I'm going to a thing called Baltimore Festival which is like a little local festival in Exeter that's really arty and it's got plays and the cinema and music and food and all that sort of thing. It's not a big festival in the slightest but I have been every year I've been in Exeter so far and I just really like it there I think it's really chill but yeah I'm just gonna put my face on might do something a little bit fun I will see it might do something fun with my hair I feel like even though it's not a big festival it's still an excuse to do something fun <laughs> don't know if that's just me I just want to use some glitter or something a little bit different so I'm currently watching would I lie to you which is very funny and I'm just gonna start getting ready <laughs> looking a little bit crazy with my hair half done. I decided just to French plait it in the end because it's quite gross and in need of a wash and I feel like French plaits is going to be the only hairstyle I can get away with but I just went down and grabbed one of these which I have talked about in my videos before but they are the Belvita soft bakes with like the chocolate filling. They're vegan and they are literally the most insane thing ever. So having a midway hair snack it's currently quarter past 11 and I think we're going in about half an hour-ish so need to finish this, need to get dressed, and then I'm good to go. I've spent way much more time getting ready than I thought I would. I never spend this much time getting ready, but don't get to go to a festival very often. I might as well put the effort in. I am now completely ready to go, so I thought I would quickly show you my outfit. I'm wearing this top from Primark that I got in my recent haul. This belt is also from Primark in my recent haul, and these jeans are from Tesco. They were actually my housemates, and they didn't fit her anymore, so she kindly donated them to me and I really like them they're super comfortable and I reckon I will probably also be wearing a raincoat for most of the day because it is still not looking too bright outside so that is what I'm wearing it is now like half 11 and I think we're about to head to the bus stop I've now made it to Baltimore. <laughs> I knew you were gonna turn around. Hi guys. <laughs> Straight Coffee away. Bar. And Hi everyone. We are Hi. currently looking through the forest. I don't think I mentioned earlier, but Baltimore Festival is kind of held at this old house, Baltimore House. And it's a super cool, old, broken, burnt down building. I mean, it doesn't sound very cool, but it's really nice and edgy. <laughs> so we are currently, there's like, no. <laughs> We're currently walking through the grounds, which is like a little woodland area and they've decorated all nicely and we're about to go listen to some music and get some food. I've been eyeing up this vegan burger van, so I think I'm going to get one of those for lunch. Alex, so oh yeah, we're listening to the band Psycho Pomp, which is like a good old extra student band, perform in a little bit, but before then we are literally just having a wander. The sun still hasn't come out, but we are currently on our way to watch a play. I think it's called How to Deal with Breakups or something like that. We just thought we might as well see one play while we're here. We don't really know anything about it, so fingers crossed it is good. Last year we ended up watching like an hour of a single guy just chatting and it was quite, it was quite awful. So fingers crossed, uh, <laughs> fingers crossed this one's interesting. I'm looking forward to it, but we are running late. So we are going to go and watch that now.
five o'clock. I don't think you're going to be able to hear me because the live music is literally playing. But the play was interesting, it was okay, it was quite long. The people in it were really good, but the storyline was a little bit odd. Taylor's currently eating curry. And then me and James just went and listened to someone called Sailor. <laughs> Shut up. And then me and James just went and listened to someone called Sadie Baller in the kind of like indoor stage. I love the indoor stage. The acoustics in there is just really lovely. Now we're back outside, the sun is out, it is lovely. And then we're gonna go back into the indoor stage in a little bit to see someone else perform. It is now I think around quarter to seven, seven-ish and we are about to get on the bus. The bus is literally here this very second but Baltimore has been so much fun. It is actually so hot and sunny now so it's a little bit of a shame that we are leaving. But I'm going to go home and chill for a bit and probably and probably we'll catch up yes, with you a little boys. bit later. Oh, I'm now back home. It is only I think half past seven and I feel so tired. I literally feel like it could be midnight. I am dead but I've had the loveliest day slash afternoon. The weather is still so nice outside, so I feel like I should be outside making the most of it considering this morning was so miserable and yesterday was just awful, but I just feel exhausted. I feel like I need a little bit of a nap. I can't go over the fact that it's only half past seven, like I've still got a few hours left of the day and I just don't see how I'm gonna stay awake. <laughs> but I think I'm just gonna chill for a little bit now. I don't know if I'm going to want dinner because that burger was so incredibly filling. It was really good. I don't think I mentioned. It was a epic burger, I think that's what they called it. The stall, the burger van was called the Epic Veg Kitchen or something along those lines. I don't know. I can't fully remember. And it was the sort of meaty one. So it had like a seitan patty and coconut bacon and all that sort of thing. Wasn't the best vegan burger I've ever had, but I have had a lot of vegan burgers. But it was up there, it was good, it was very nice and it was nice to have a festival like that, to have such a good vegan option and to have a fully vegan like van was just crazy. There was another stall as well that did vegan lemon drizzle cake, which I went to buy near the end and they'd sold out, which was a real shame. But it's just been, it's been so lovely. Baltimore Festival is one of my favourite things in Exeter. Every year I've been, it's just been so nice and chill and relaxed and it's just such a nice atmosphere. It's not crazy, it's not like wild people, everyone is just relaxed and chill and there's all sorts of stuff going on to see. So I definitely had a really, really lovely day today. My hair is looking incredibly bedraggled and so is my face. I think I might pop in the shower and then put my PJs on and just chill for the evening and maybe make something a little bit later for dinner, but I will see. So I have just made a very weird dinner. <laughs> I have got a hot dog bun that I've toasted and put some butter and marmite on. And then I've got an orange here that I have sliced. Not really a dinner. I would normally have toast, but we didn't have any bread and we've got loads of these bread rolls left over from the barbecue the other day. So I thought I might as well use one of them up and I'm really not very hungry still, so I figured this would probably be the perfect amount of food for me. So I'm probably gonna go upstairs and eat this in bed watching Netflix because I am still feeling very tired from the day. I think I'm gonna end today's vlog here because I'm now showered, I'm in bed. I think it's like 10 o'clock. I'm currently watching Evil Genius on Netflix. Let me know if any of you guys have watched that down in a comment. I have just finished the first episode feeling a little bit creeped out, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's not the worst. I'm really into crime programs and that sort of thing. It's definitely not the worst one I've ever watched, but it is a very bizarre story. So I reckon I will probably watch another one of those tonight before I go to bed. Will is actually coming home tonight. He's been at home for the weekend, so I think he's getting back in an hour. So I'm gonna see if I can squeeze in another episode before he gets back and then I will probably go to sleep because I just feel so tired. I know I haven't really done anything today, 
we had to walk a little bit from getting off the bus to the festival. But then once we were at the festival, I literally just sat around for most of the day. So it doesn't make sense that I'm this tired. But I am, so I'm going to go to sleep. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.